the Southern Handicap Chase is next, and this is two and a quarter miles, not to 120. Top one, Haldir ahead for Thomas Rogers. Eleanor Rigby for Martin Lidham, Paul Gallopin, Darren Thompson, Force 10, Greg Beckwith, Long Hall, Graham Clitterbuck, Evelith Carter, James Shea, Lexington Virus, Vinnie Gerard, Mao Picker, Daniel French, Cindy to Chrissy, David Robertson, Merchants Hill, Graham Clitterbuck, Good Night Naples, Ryan Costello, One Master, David Hooley, Verbania Project, Ryan Costello, Ignatiev Kalanisi, James Shea, Papillon Putin, and Ottilia Fleet for Alex Cherry, the Chivious Boss for Thomas Rogers, and Serious Choice for Dan Hughes. Good big field for this one then, and away they go. And Ignatiev Kalanisi is going to be the first one to shoot. With force 10 in second. As they sort themselves out through the first furlong or so. And make their way towards the first of 14. And they're all safely over the first with Ignatiev Kalanisi in the lead. It's a short run to the second. And the Lushibius boss was over in second. Hands a forder at the back. Good night, Naples has gone. So it is indeed good night, Naples. That one is out of it as they get to the third. And over that one, right down on its nose was Long Haul. And it's going to have to jump a little bit better than that, I think, as they get down to this next one. This is a Grand National type fence as they get over that one nicely. And Ignatiev Kalanisi is clearing the lead from Paul Gallopin and the Chivious Bost, and then Mao Picker and Force 10. And after that one is Haldir ahead and Eleanor Rigby. Is next, then Singita Chrissy and Evelith Carter with Atelier Fleet and Papillon Poutine. After that one, Papillon Poutine in that noseband, then Serious Choice and Lexington Forest, then Long Haul Verbania Project, and finally One Master. And it's just the back marker as they come down to the fifth. All safely over the fifth, short one to the sixth. Oh, and the leader made a real mistake at that one. And has lost the lead as a consequence. Paul Gallopin has now gone on as they come into the next jump. Paul Gallopin was the one that made the mistake this time, so the lead is not jumping well. And Ignatiev Kalanisi has gone back into the lead again. Lashivius Bost is second, Paul Gallopin third, then Haldir ahead, and Mao Picker and Force 10. Evelith Carter, Singi to Chrissy, and Attilia Fleet, and a little gap to Merchants Hill. And Eleanor Rigby, serious choice behind that one. Papillon Putin just lost its place a little bit and Long Haul is at the back after an early mistake with the Grey One Master and it's nutty of Kalanisi as they race into the final mile then with Lascivious Boston second and then Paul Gallop and then Mao Picker one or two of these from the back are going to have to start making their move shortly as we're inside the final seven furlongs now as they take the eighth and over that one they go, and Ignatiev Karanisi and Lascivious Bost into the ninth. Quickly, Paul Gallopin jumped it well in third. Mistake at the back by Papillon Putin, but the leading three, Ignatiev Karanisi, Paul Gallopin and Lascivious Bost, come down to the tenth. Over it they go. They're all safely over that one as well. Singi to Christie's now making a forward-looking move. So too is Evelith Carter. Mao Picker is there as well. How dear ahead is after that one as they take the eleventh. Then comes Eleanor Rigby after that one, but it's Ignatiev Karanisi who's in the lead. Ignatiev of Kalanisi then by a length and a half to Paul Gallopin and Evelith Carter then comes Lascivious Boston Singi to Chrissy as they make their way towards the final four furlongs and the final three fences then and it's Ignatiev Kalanisi who leads by two to Evelith Carter in second Mao Picker going well in third on the outside then Paul Gallopin Singi to Chrissy still trying to run on then Force 10 Lascivious Boston is dropping back Eleanor Rigby is making ground so too is the grey one master as they swing towards the final three fences and a slow jump by the leader Mao Picker now begins to close and one really making up the ground Singi to Chrissy as they get over the second last and over the second last it's Evelith Carter who's come through to challenge Ignatiev Kalanisi Singi to Chrissy's there over the final fence they go and Ignatiev Kalanisi is suddenly bursting away and Ignatiev Kalanisi into the final furlong being chased by Evelith Carter force 10 back in third these are well clear of the rest of them and up towards the run it's got to be close Evelith Carter is swooping into the lead as they race into the final half furlong Evelith Carter from force 10 Ignatiev Kalanisi has got nothing left and Evelyn Carter takes it from Force 10. Ignatiev Kalanisi, Verbania project from nowhere. And all the way back to Papillon Putin. And it's Evelyn Carter who takes it. For James Shea, Force 10 
Well, Craig Beckwith was second. Ignatiev Kalanisi from the winning trainer was third. The Vibania project for Ryan Costello ran on to be fourth. And the fifth place horse was... Uh, it's just disappeared. We'll be back in a minute. It was Singita Grizzly for David Robertson.